But first, public art has become synonymous with Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood. A new mural on 18th Street is using the medium to preserve the community's history and to memorialize nearly 50 of its residents. Lizette Garza's family has lived in Pilsen for three generations. She's a community organizer in the neighborhood. And she's one of 46 residents featured on a new mural. There's a lot of important significance as putting down historical roots, um, what it means for cultural heritage. Artists Pablo Serrano and Mateo Zapata created the 4,000 square foot painting. It's named Somos Pilsen, which means we are Pilsen. The mural is just a quick snapshot of a community in motion, right? And part of that motion is an affirmation of the things that bring us together. The mural is on the western side of Carnitas Don Pedro on Pilsen's 18th Street, a community staple. The late Don Pedro opened the restaurant in 1981. The Duarte family commissioned the mural, which is also in honor of Pedro. The artists say the community members speak to the variety of experiences in the neighborhood. Being someone who grew up here for, you know, 30 plus years, I recognize everybody on there and I understand like, you know, the roles they play. Marcus is Marion Sims' son, right? So Marion Sims was one of the first black families to move into Pilsen early 60s. Zapata says the mural is a way to solidify the community's history in the face of gentrification and displacement. The mural is an attempt to make sure that the history from all the work that older generations have put in the neighborhood and younger generations are starting to step up to put in the neighborhood isn't erased. Somos Pilsen features essential workers, musicians, and business owners. One community leader featured on the mural is Concepcion Rodriguez, known to many as Concha. She's lived on the same street since 1967. Rodriguez has continued her late brother's work of discouraging youth from joining gangs. I have letters of kids writing to me, telling me that they thank me because um, they were able to get out of a gang because of my brother and myself. Rodriguez is known to some Pilsen residents as the Death Lady. She visits schools and community events to talk about the dangers of joining gangs. She brings articles about young people who have died of gang violence and a coffin with a mirror inside for that individual to look in there and see the reflection. That if you're in a gang, this is where you're gonna end up. If you're thinking about being a gang, if be, joining a gang, don't do it. Somos Pilsen is also an opportunity to show young people a positive representation of their community. There's a certain level of power in controlling your own narrative. And it's been too often that immigrants are represented as criminals, whether it be in the media or whether it be by conservative politics. And it's up to us to change that. Seeing all those individuals, seeing Angela Miller, seeing a Teresa Fraga, seeing Don Pedro up there looking at it, I'm proud of it because these are the Latinos that have made a difference, not just in this community, but in society. And while public art is common in Pilsen, Zapata says he hopes the mural inspires other communities to leverage art to empower residents.